So at this point we're about halfway through Unit 1 in that we've introduced the sort of fundamental programming structure in Scratch. We've taken some time to look at the motion blocks. We've talked about the fact that, that a sprite has motion and direction and location. And so we learned about the XY coordinate system and the fact that the XY coordinate system in Scratch is the standard XY coordinate system from mathematics, 0, 0 being at the center. And we go from uh, an, a 480 width, negative 240 to positive 240, 360 height, negative 180 to positive 180. And again, the fact that your students really don't have to know all that to make it work. And we'll see that as we continue with this unit. We talked about direction. We talked about the fact that zero is a direction that is straight up with a sprite, right? So if we point in direction zero, we're pointing straight up. And that as we come through positive numbers from zero to 180, we're moving from the top to the bottom, pointing in the right direction. So this is down and to the right. But if we go to the negative version of that, I'm just gonna actually click negative 135, Right? That's down and to the left. And so we, we talked about that. And we talked about how we, we can move blocks around in the motion menu. Finally, we talked about using both the when green flag is clicked, the very first block under events, and the wait one second, the very first block under control, to uh, help control our sprites a little more. Give us a, a, an action, give us the ability to do places everybody and reset the sprite and uh, wait for a little bit before we start our actual program. Great, that's a quick recap in, in two minutes as to what we did in the first part of this unit. Now what we wanna do to finish this unit is to put all those pieces together and to explore the concept of really simple animation in our sprite. And so let's start with just this idea. Suppose I want my cat, my actor here, my sprite, to start by uh, walking across the straight stage from left to right. That's all I'm going to do with this in this video. Let's get the cat to walk across the stage from left to right. Okay, well if I'm going to do that then I need to first worry about places everybody. Right? So when the green flag is clicked, I want to tell my cat to go to his starting location. And so again, here's where I say you don't need to really know the exact coordinates to make this work. I can just drag my cat over to the left hand side of the stage and this block here, the go to block, updates automatically for where the cat is. And so that's close enough to the left edge of the stage. I can tell the cat, go to the left edge of the stage. Oh, I probably want him not standing upside down on his head. So I'm going to say point in direction 90. And that's my places, everybody. And again, I like to put a wait one second after that, just so that we can see that the cat has gone to his starting location. And so right now, my, my program is nothing more than places, everybody. And when I click on that, boom, the cat goes to the left side of the stage. Again, even if the cat's moved around and done some stuff, when I click on the green flag, I tell the cat to go to his starting location. Now, if you're somebody who likes to, you know, get nice and neat with your coordinates, you certainly can say, I want him in the middle of the screen, so I could reset this to y equals zero. You could set this to negative 200. I'm kind of OCD. I like nice round numbers. But it doesn't matter, right? That my, Again, my whole point is it just doesn't matter. You drag the cat to the left edge. That's the coordinates he's at. That's good enough, okay? So there's my places, everybody. Now I want the cat to move across the stage to the right-hand side. Okay. Well, I'm going to stop right now, and I'm going to ask you to think about this. What block or couple of blocks should come next so that I can see the cat go from this places every starting places everyone starting location and move across the stage to the right-hand side of the stage? What would you do? Think about that for a second before you move on to the next video.